Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Python on your Mac computer and how you can set up Python virtual environment in your computer. So without further delay, let's start the video. Now I'm going to show you how you can install Python on Mac. So just go to a website called python.org. So this is the website. And once you are on this website, just go to download. And from the download, if you just hover over the download, you will see the Python latest version, which is 3.12. So just click on this. It's going to start downloading it. You can see it is downloading now. So let's first click here. Yeah, it's downloaded now. Let's go to file and double click to install it. So once you double click on it, click on continue. Let me just close everything else. So continue, continue and agree. Install. Just need to give your machine password. So I will enter my machine password. It will just take a few seconds. You can see now Python has installed successfully on my machine. So I will just click on close. Okay. And I will just delete the file. Now we can verify it. You can just go to terminal. So just type terminal and in terminal you can simply type which Python 3. Okay. Now you can see that our Python has installed in these locations which is library, frameworks, Python and this is the path you can see right. So in this path Python has installed. Now we want to use command like which Python. Okay. So they should identify the Python, but it is not working. So for that, we need to do two things. Now we need to add this path in our JetArc file and we need to link this a path. Okay. So two things we need to do. So let's go to the finders and in finders, you need to go to your folder. So for me, it's the Jara folder for you. You need to go to this file Macintosh HD, then users and then username. Okay. In this username, you will not see all these files. You need to press come now in this. Now we just need to add this file path into our jet arc file. So for that go to finders and go to your user. So for me, it's the user, which is, you can see Macintosh HD user and my user is in Zara. So this is the user. You will see a file called jet arc, okay, dot file. So for that, you need to press command shift and dot, and you will see some new file. So from here, you need to file this file, which is going to be that this one is called dot jet s h r c. Okay. Just open this file. And here you need to add a path. Okay. So for the Python, so I will add a path here. I would simply say export and I need to say path. Then I need to say equals and I need to enter the path inside this double quotes. Okay. Now after I add the path, I just need to say, then I just need to add a colon. And after adding the colon, I just need to say here that uh, again path, but with the dollar sign, you need to add a dollar sign. I need to say path okay then just close the double bracket so let me just make it a zoom and so you can see it so you just need to write this export path and just copy paste whatever the path you had from the terminal and just give a colon and then dollar sign and then path just press enter and then you just need to save it so you can use command s or you can just save now you need to go to terminal to link that a path so for that what you need to cite type is sudo and then it like n l n and then you need to write minus s and then you need to write your path which is the path and after a space you need to type and then this is what you need to type okay so let me just make it zoom and so that i can show you type sudo ln minus s and your path which is the python path and you need to type just user local bin python so that is how your python is going to link just press enter just close it close the terminal and launch the terminal again once they launch launch the terminal again you can just say clear to clear everything and here we can just type python now you can see python 3.12 launched okay we can say print hello word okay now the python is you can see python is printing it we can just exit out it and if you want to check the python version just type python dash and type uh, capital P that's going to give you the Python versions. Now we will install VS code. So to install the VS code, you can go to Google and type VS code for Mac. Then you need to go to VS code website, official website, which is code virtualstudio.com downloads and just download from Mac. So I'm going to download it from Mac here. Universal one will work fine for me. So you can see for me, it is downloaded. So it didn't download it. I'll just click it again. So it's going to download it in just few seconds. It will download. So I'll just stop one and uh, wait for a few seconds so that it can complete the download. All right, now you can see the download is done. So let's go ahead and install it. So I will just click on this folder icon to go to the folders and uh, I will just 
double click on it and uh, click on open so it is going to install and then i will be able to access it okay so you can see it has now installed i can just drag into the applications folder so you can just go to go and uh, applications folder from here so that's going to be here applications folder and in the applications folder we can drag the bs code if in case it is not here so i will need to just drag it so from the download now we have the applications in our launch pad you can see it here we have the bs code okay so once you launch the bs code you will be getting interference like this so here here you can choose a themes for now i'm just going to keep it default and i will just make it a little big for now starting now here we have some of the settings okay we will explore one by one so we have this file explorer and we have this extension these are two importance and we have here you can search anything okay so first let's go ahead and set up a virtual environment because where we can install all the dependencies and uh, for our project now now i can choose any folder so for me i'm going to choose one of the folders which is going to be this one 30 days python you can create a folders and you can choose the folders so that is going to be your workspace folders i would just say trust okay now vs code is done so we will go to terminal now i'm going to add all this terminal command in the video description so you can simply copy paste it and replace with your path and you can use it so let's first load the launch the terminal so in the terminal i can just type python versions and you can see we have a python version of 3.12 okay now you can say something called pip list you see it's showing that pip list is not available because we are now inside this folder which is my 30 days python series folders so we need to make this folder as a virtual environment we need to create a virtual environment in this folders then only we can install dependencies in this folders for that what we will do we'll just need to write something called python minus m v e n b okay so python minus m v n b so this is part of commands so you need to write your environment name so i'm just going to say my v e n b so this is going to be my virtual environment press enter you will see a new folder that is created inside the folders you will install all the dependency all the libraries and everything okay now this is created we just need to kill this terminal and then we need to launch the terminal again okay so kill this terminal and uh, we will just launch this terminal okay so it should automatically activate it so for now it is not activating now as soon as you close it you will get a pop-up something like uh, python extensions we need to install a python extension so that our vs code will communicate with the python so for that you will get a recommend like this if you do not get a recommend like this then you can just go to this you know extension and from here you will just type python and you will need to use this python extension okay so this is going to install python extensions python debug and python pylens three uh, three extensions is going to install automatically we need one more extension that, that is jupyter notebook and we will do it later on so, so let's create a new file to test it so it's a new file name it called hwpy and uh, we will print a message called print hello world okay so let's run it in the terminal so right click terminal run it terminal okay so you can see the file hello world seems to be working and you can also see that my virtual environment has already activated so if you see that this doesn't get activated what you just need to do you should see your python and the environment if you don't see it just press command p and here you just need to type something called this arrow and just like type select python interpreter we need to just type python python select interpreter okay you just need to type this you just select interpreter so from here you will see all the virtual environment and you just need to select the right one okay so that is it now next we will go ahead and kind of i'll just clear it now okay next i want to install one more uh, you know theme which is going to be for this icon so go to this extensions time type icon and material icon theme which i prefer so you can install this that's going to change this icon colors okay so just select set material icon theme and here you see the icon color has changed based on the file okay so that is it now your virtual environment is set up okay now if you want jupyter notebook so you can just launch a jupyter notebook called test ipynb okay test dot ipynb okay i will just say test one anything else okay now here we can just print a message called print 
hello world now this will give you suggestions to install jupyter extension as well to work with the jupyter notebook we will say okay so it's going to use jupyter extensions and we will need to also use ip kernel IP, ipy kernel which is part of jupyter extension so select python environment that's my bnb so you are getting this warning like this click on install so you will get automatically okay once the jupyter notebook is set up this hello world is going to be printed you can see now it's working so now if you write it here called pip see by default i'm getting my system name also the virtual environment name okay so if i just now type pip pip list i will see all the libraries that i already have at the moment so all the libraries you can see it here these are the libraries i already have it now so this is how we have set up the virtual environment you see this doesn't get activated so you just need to install make sure that your python extensions are installed so just type as a python from this extension make sure this python install extension is installed okay so once the python extension is installed then you will be able to automatically it's going to activate your virtual environment all right that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video have a good day take care bye bye